Hi, I'm Thad West, CEO of ISOS Technology, sitting here today with Mark Mitchell, former mayor of Tempe, Arizona. The tools that I've seen from Atlassian, I think be very instrumental in how cities can move forward, not only to save money, but also to be more efficient and save time. If you want to learn more out there, uh, please come to our website, www.isostech.com. A lot of material that really help you understand this transition to cloud and what it means to you and how to get there and how to make the most of it. Hello everyone. My name is Narmada Jayashankar and I'm a Principal Product Manager in Atlassian's Enterprise Cloud team. Today, I'm excited to walk you through the foundations of our enterprise security strategy in cloud and share with you some exciting capabilities we are working on. And I'm Ken Urban from the Atlassian Public Sector team. I'm here to help explain what these capabilities mean for the public sector. Before we dive in, a friendly reminder that any future looking information shared as part of this presentation is bound by our standard confidentiality clause, and we'd like to thank you in advance for your cooperation. Today, I want to talk about four key things. How Atlassian has built a strong foundation for security and governance in cloud how you can get started with security in Atlassian Cloud, a swift deep dive into the capabilities we have today, and give you a glimpse of our roadmap to see what we have planned. Let me start here with our mission. For those of you just getting to know us, simply put, Atlassian is the team company. We care deeply about how teams work together. Heck, our ticker symbol is even team. And everything we think about and dream about is how to make team work better. We have always had the mission to unleash the potential of every team. Last year, the entire world was thrust into a state of upheaval. Our routines were appended, our priorities shifted, and life as we know it has drastically changed. Organizations around the world have had to pivot quickly to support a whole new way of working for their teams. Atlassian is committed to our mission even more now than ever before, when our customers are forced to quicken the pace of their digital transformation. Ultimately, our customers choose cloud for three reasons. Speed in cloud means there's the ability to scale faster and accelerate speed to market to ship new products and services much faster. Cloud transforms enterprise productivity because it reduces the total cost of ownership, lowering costs in the long run, and ultimately, by reducing the need for ownership of systems. Lastly, innovation increases when teams work in cloud-based solutions, unlocking new growth curves. This means there's more time to refocus your core mission when we run it for you. Simultaneously, we recognize that there were some broader trends facing IT administrators. First, because cloud makes it so much easier to adopt products, teams were adopting more products than ever before. Second, because teams or de departments can start with cloud directly without going through a corporate IT procurement process, there are more people in the company using SaaS apps. And finally, every one of those people have a smartphone and often a tablet. And now all of them are working from home. And Narmada, one of the biggest challenges for government agencies in shifting to a cloud-first strategy is the accreditation of the cloud platform itself. And I'm happy to announce today that for Jira and Confluence, we have a roadmap to achieve federate moderate. Back to you, Narmada. When you're using on-premises software, like our server and data center products, you typically rely on a network perimeter in order to provide a primary security layer for your applications. You essentially have a different risk profile for trusted traffic 
versus untrusted traffic. In the cloud, where people are using many SaaS applications on all kinds of devices, the ability to maintain this kind of perimeter disappears. Your teams are going to use unsanctioned SaaS apps and end up storing sensitive data within them. And those applications are going to be used at work, at home, and on their mobile devices. And frequently, they are collaborating with external partners in these applications who must access content outside of your network. That means that you essentially have two choices. Try to crack down, detect every app in use, and introduce all kinds of friction for your employees to get their work done, or give up on the traditional notion of trusted and untrusted traffic. If you accept that you can't control every IP address and every device, the result is that you can no longer assume trust. So we recognize that the new perimeter is the identity of users accessing your applications, which is why single sign-on has become so important to so many companies. And now, Narmada, that is something that government is very familiar with. In cloud, that essentially means SSO tied back to your own identity management infrastructure as a single source of truth, which allows you to securely manage access to your instances. So you've got all these different products and all these different instances. In order to make it easier for your users to collaborate across all of the different Atlassian products, we introduced the concept of an Atlassian account. One Atlassian account, one single identity across all of our products. You're not logging into Jira or logging into Confluence, you're logging into one Atlassian account. With a single global identity, you can easily identify the users who belong to your organization or have access to your data across all of our products. This global identity serves as the foundation of our security strategy in cloud. So let's walk through how you can get started with security on this foundation. The first step is to define your organization in Atlassian Cloud. The organization construct is your central home in, in our cloud that brings together two things, the Atlassian Cloud products that your agency owns and all the users of those products. The second thing we recommend you do is verify your agency's domain in your Atlassian organization. Your domain is not the name of your cloud site. It's the email domain of your agency's users. Verifying your domain allows you to claim all the user accounts under the domain. Claiming accounts indicates to Atlassian that your organization owns all of the user accounts within the email domain you verified. At this point, I want to acknowledge that we have heard you that independent government agencies often share a common email domain, and it may not be permissible for a government agency to claim ownership of another agency's user accounts. We don't quite have a solution for this yet. At this time, we suggest you use a subdomain under the main domain for your department. Thanks, Narmada. That's something we're working on for public sector. If this is an issue for you, we recommend that you reach out to your Atlassian team member to learn more about how we can make this work in your domain. If you don't currently have a dedicated team member, please visit atlassian.com government and contact us there. You have management rights over the accounts you claim. We recommend you review the security posture of these accounts and the data they have access to. Finally, subscribe to Atlassian Access to enable enterprise-grade security across your Atlassian Cloud organization. Atlassian Access offers identity and access management capabilities to securely connect your users to your data. With Access, you gain visibility and control over how your data is being used. We offer 24 cross 7 premium support with Atlassian Access. 
As your organization grows, ensuring your users and data are safeguarded across multiple Atlassian cloud products is no easy task. Atlassian Access empowers you to build a scalable governance plan without stifling agility or collaboration. Now that you know how to get started, let's take a quick look at the capabilities you can leverage. First and foremost is SAML single sign-on. SSO lets you manage all your users' credentials centrally in your identity provider and provides a seamless login experience to your users. We've partnered with all the largest identity providers to support SAML single sign-on. We also offer API support to build your own integration. Automatic user provisioning enables your administrators to scale as your organization scales. We support automatic user provisioning via Okta, Azure AD, Google, One Login, and Ping Identity. And if you're using any other directory service, we've got you covered with APIs to help you build your own connector. We offer the flexibility to define multiple authentication policies and apply them to different subsets of users in your organization to ensure each set of users have the appropriate level of security. The organization audit log is a comprehensive log of admin activity that takes place in the Atlassian Cloud organization. An organization audit log shows admins the who, what, and when of admin activity. Admins can immediately see who and when users were given access and get a detailed record of suspicious activity in the event of data loss to immediately take remedial action. Organization insights help you get deeper visibility into how your org is using Atlassian Cloud. From security to utilization, these insights will help you maximize the return on your cloud investment. Through API token controls, admins can achieve better visibility into the usage of bot accounts and integrations and improve security and admin controls over API access. Token controls allow admins to view and revoke the use of API tokens by their managed accounts. Centralize governance of your Atlassian Cloud products with Atlassian Access, then connect to the CASB software McAfee MVision Cloud to get automatic security monitoring and behavioral analytics through your McAfee MVision Cloud dashboard. We heard your requirements around data residency and have since delivered data residency for US and EU realms. That is a lot of capability, Armada. Let's take a moment to discuss what those security features mean for public sector customers. First, Atlassian Access will help agencies to ensure the prompt removal of accounts when an employee or contractor leaves the agency. It also enables you to enforce your SSO policies on your employees, no matter what site they're accessing in our cloud, be that one that you own and control or one that a vendor owns. Second, our audit logs help you to remain in compliance by enabling you to have in-tool audit logging at the levels that you need, but also by enabling you to export audit logs to your own security auditing infrastructure. Finally, if you aren't enforcing something like two-step login through Atlassian Access, you can use organizational insights to help assess your security posture and determine risk level. Additionally, organizational insights can help you determine product usage to aid in budgetary planning. Okay, Namrata, back over to you. We have more exciting capabilities in the works. Here's a quick peek at our roadmap. Soon, claiming your domain and having an Atlassian Access subscription will give you visibility into product instances, your managed accounts created outside of your organization. You can choose to be notified immediately when your managed users create new products. 
we are working on a comprehensive mobile security solution to meet your security needs and industry standards that is easy to adopt and can scale with your organization. We will support integrations with top MDM providers together with native security capabilities in our mobile apps. Atlassian Cloud encrypts data during both transit and at rest. But we heard that you want encryption controls that you own and manage to protect your sensitive data. I'm excited to announce that we are working to support bring your own key encryption for selected types of data with plans to expand to more data types in the future. Here are more exciting capabilities in the pipeline. Central access management to manage access to all the products in your organization from a single place. Secure collaboration features that will let you define and enforce minimum security requirements for partners and contractors who have access to your organization's data. A comprehensive log to audit user activity across your organization from a single place. Wow, those are some pretty exciting features, Namada. Let's take a few seconds to highlight how some of them will impact the public sector. First, I think that BYOK will fundamentally alter how government agencies utilize our platform. Now they will have confidence that they can put certain data types into the platform and have assurances that only their authorized users can view it. Second, I think that shadow IT, that exposing shadow IT will be a great benefit in helping our government agencies gain control over not just spending, but potential security issues of rogue instances spun up by random employees. And finally, one more roadmap item I'd like to point out, which I mentioned earlier, and that you've heard in other talks, is that Atlassian is making a commitment to be federate moderate certified for our core cloud. I hope this session answered some of your questions you had on Atlassian cloud security and got you excited to tap into the potential our cloud products with confidence. Trust us to unleash the potential of your team. Thank you. Thank you.